Good morning, my friends, and happy Saturday. It is the weekend. My favorite day of the week is Saturday. It's a day to get it all done and just, you know? So this weekend we have coop building, shocking. Um, Doug's gonna work on that most of the day today. I am going to get some cooking done. I need to make some English muffins because we are flying through them because I keep giving them away. Um, and actually, Andrew asked me if I would make some and bring them to him next weekend when we go down for the track meet. What else? Uh, we're having tacos tonight for Pinochle night, so I need to prep all the taco stuff because we have five o'clock mass today. Um, Doug has to sing solo. So I wanna get all the taco stuff made. My sister-in-law's bringing dessert. So I have a plan. I have had such a good week, such a good week. And I want that to continue over the weekend. So my plan is um, for the tacos tonight, I think, well, I'm gonna make ground beef and chicken. Um, Cause I love both. So I might have one taco, like one traditional taco with beef and then make a nice big taco salad with chicken I want to try to save a lot of points for dessert because um, I do enjoy dessert once a week on these Saturday nights that we have pinochle. So that's my plan is to low point it all day, enjoy some dessert and get moving. Um, I don't want to mess up anything I've done so far this week because like I said, it's been a really good week. I am hoping for, you know, a good weigh in on Tuesday. We will see. So... What, I'm gonna make English muffins, do all the taco prep. I need to get some dog treats made. We've been out of homemade dog treats. So I need to get those made. And of course, run outside and help Doug whatever he needs with the coop. Um, if he's putting the walls up, he's gonna need my help, you know, holding the, the T111 and stuff. And I also have a craft I have to do this morning, this afternoon, whatever. When we play Pinochle at my sister-in-law's, they have this cube that has each of the suits on it, on the four sides, and then the other sides, I think, just say pinochle. And whatever Trump is called, you put the suit up. And they always forget to bring it over here. And there's no reason for them to bring it because that is the easiest thing in the world for me to make. I know I have wood cubes downstairs, cut out the things with my Cricut, and I'm good to go. I just need to do it. And I always forget until we sit down to play and Doug, mentioned to me this morning he's like you need to make that pinochle cube today so that's on the list um i think there was one more oh i need to go get some cheese we ate all the cheese that we were going to use for the tacos tonight i had a block of kojak that i was going to shred up and we ate it so i need to go get some cheese um I have a huge block of mozzarella, but I don't do mozzarella on tacos. Looking at my planner. Oh, and I also um, need to work on my freezer a little bit downstairs. And that's it. Oh, and I have to go pick up newspapers off somebody's porch today. Yeah, I forgot to do it yesterday. Every Friday, someone here in town saves newspapers for me for the chickens and every Friday I, I go pick them up off her porch and I forgot to do it. So I gotta do that this morning too. I'll do that when I run out to get the cheese. So that's my day. Um, I have a couple other things I need to fit in there. And we only have, like I said, till three o'clock cause we have to start getting ready for church and pinochle. Tomorrow it's supposed to rain all day here. It's kind of yucky now. I don't think it's raining anymore, but it's overcast. And now tomorrow's supposed to rain all day. So I'm hoping to work on the ironing pile. It's big. I've been neglecting it. So that's my fun and exciting weekend. But next weekend we'll be going away and getting the chicks. And next weekend will be a really good one. So hopefully that'll be a great vlog. Not just my boring life. But for now... I need to go and get breakfast started because we're hungry. So I will be back with my breakfast. Doug requested pancakes for breakfast this morning. So that is what I made. I have a six point breakfast with my pancakes and my bacon. 
I think I've mentioned this before, but who can remember? Um, whenever we have bacon, which is usually every Saturday, I take the extra, the, all the bacon grease that's in the pan and I add oatmeal, oats to it and some bird seed and mix it around and let it get all coated. And then I take it outside and throw it in the grass for the birds. Um, it, you know, in the winter, the birds need the extra fat and of course the food. They don't need it as much in the spring, but I still do it anyway. So bird seed and oatmeal, and that's too much bird seed. And then we just dump it out on the grass and the birds have a beautiful bacon flavored oatmeal and seed feast. Okay, I'm multitasking here this morning. While I was cooking breakfast, I used my Waverly Antique Wax and stained my pinochle cube. So now I just need to cut out the designs with my Cricut and apply them on there. Okay, got my little cube done. Diamond spades, hearts, clubs. So that way when we play, whatever the trump is, we can just put this on the table and everybody knows. Took me about five minutes. And the day's work on the coop has begun. Doug's flying solo today. Um, getting a lot of the little details done figuring out like the the doors to the nesting boxes and the door to the clean out and things like that. Um, he's gonna need my help when it comes to putting on walls and stuff um, just to hold up the T111. So I'll go out there and help him when he's ready for that. But in the meantime, I am getting my stuff done inside. Okay, on to the next thing, and that's making some dog biscuits for little Miss Aria. I am just gonna make one whole batch and probably give some to my brother for his dog tonight when we see them. Once I get this done, I'm gonna start on the tacos. So you know that book, if you give a mouse a cookie or if you give a moose a muffin, and in those books, one thing leads to another, to another, to another? Well, that's what's happening here. You know why? Because I went to make my taco meat. Chicken's in the Instant Pot, not a problem. Seasoned it, put it in the Instant Pot, but not quite enough taco seasoning to do the ground beef. Not a problem, right? We'll just make up some more. So we go over to the spice cabinet, we start mixing it up. And then we look at the spices we need. Well, guess what? Well, we don't need cumin because I did buy that. We're out of smoked paprika and I'm also out of black pepper. How the heck, people, did that happen? So now I need to stop what I'm doing and I need to go buy that. And I don't just go to the grocery store and buy it because ugh, we use way too many spices, especially smoked paprika. That is in so many of my different mixes. So now I've got to go up, put some clothes on that are acceptable to wear in public because I look like a slob and run down to the Amish market. And that will probably lead to something else. <sighs> it's okay, these things happen. So now I'm gonna go get changed and go to the Amish market. Okay, back from the Amish market, I Forgot to show you my lunch. I bought lunch at the Amish market. I bought some shrimp salad. It's called Luzanne shrimp boil or something. It's, I had two points worth of that. Totally forgot to show you. It is a huge treat for us because it's so expensive. Points wise, it's great, but oh my God, it's expensive. But I saw it and it looks so good and bought that for lunch. Got my smoked paprika and my pepper. And while I was there, I also picked up and Doug was munching a little bit. A block of Cooper Sharp. I'm gonna use this for the tacos tonight for everybody. I am probably gonna use my um, Cabot cheese just to kind of keep points down on that. Because like I said, I'm saving those points for dessert. Um, so I am home. We had our shrimp boil, forgot to show it to you. And now I am just cooking up the Chicken's done, that was in the Instant Pot. 
Now I'm just cooking up the ground beef and I will get that seasoned and put that aside and then start chopping up all the veggies. I'd like to be done sooner rather than later. Um, and I will show you Doug's progress on the coop as soon as I go outside to help him again. Um, what else? I guess that's it. Oh my gosh, it was so hard in the Amish market. The donuts, people, the donuts, oh, the donuts. Um, but I was good. I, I just walked right by and, and the baked goods walked right by and I had to go into the, it's called C and K candy. That's where the bulk spices are. And it's also candy. Um, I had to walk right by all the candy and all the Easter candy was half price and they had coconut cream eggs. I'm like, nope, nope. Being a good girl. I did buy some more of my cocoa light multi-green pop cakes these are great they only have a flour wheat flour whole wheat flour rice flour water and sea salt um they are zero points for one and one point for two i showed you these a hundred times they are so good with almond butter on them that is like a favorite treat of mine if i just need a little something one teaspoon of almond butter on one of those and absolutely delicious. So, yeah, that's, you know, can you stand the excitement in our weekend? I don't know. But my meat is almost done. So I am, and I did finish my taco seasoning. So got a nice full jar of taco seasoning now. Oh, you know, it's always something. I did meet my sister down at the market. We had to exchange something. You know, she used to live five minutes away. Now she lives 20 minutes away since they moved. And 20 minutes is not a big deal. But you know when you meet up, you talk and all that. So I'm like, I cannot come to your house. If you want to meet me at the Amish market to give me what you need to give me, that's fine. And we still stood there and talked. I'm like, Jean, I got to go. I got to go. I got to go. We have stuff to do. But... It's your sister. What are you going to do? Anyway, that's it. I'm going to go finish this up and I'll be back. Woohoo! I got out of the kitchen and into the sunshine for just a little bit. Um, it's really coming along. I'm going to turn you around and show you. This is the slow part. You know, framing it out went really quickly, but it's the walls that are, that take some time because measure twice, cut once you know that kind of thing so I'm gonna turn you around and show you what's going on so right now Doug is working on the door see it going up and down that will be what we open in the morning to let the girls out it'll have a rig on it um, a rope and a pulley system we thought about investing in an automatic door right from the get-go but decided that we've invested enough in this coop we weren't going to invest in that right yet um, maybe in the future we'll see but we had this really cool wood that came from a pallet at Lowe's. I don't know if you can see, it's got a track in it. And Doug, remember we had this that we got free at Lowe's. My brother picked it up for us. He really picked it up for me to craft with. Doug, remember we have that, had that and oh my gosh, it is absolutely perfect for this. So he's working on that now. He has the wall up at the nesting boxes. He's got half of the wall up in the back this big opening right here will be the clean out that's there'll be a door that flips down um, and we will just be able to scoop all of the dirty shavings right into a wheelbarrow along the ground it's gonna flip up. he said it's going to flip up we'll talk about that because in my world it was flipping down um, this will just have another piece of the T111 on it, he just doesn't have that up yet. And then we have the wall over there. So it is really coming along. I am getting beyond excited. I, I am so excited about this. and I'm so excited to share this journey with all of you guys. I, I know it's not Weight Watcher related, and but eggs are Weight Watcher related, right? So, you know, it is what it is. We've been so busy working on the coop that the yard has gotten neglected. We haven't done our spring cleanup yet. We put all the toys away on the weekends. We didn't do that. My clothesline is still out. We haven't weeded. It's a hot mess out here. Coop trumps everything. Uh, do you hear that? The coop trumps everything. 
and that's kind of how we're feeling right now so this has to get done because the township has to inspect it Not necessarily before. So like I was saying, um, the township has to come and inspect the coop. They're, the girls aren't going to be out here until June, end of June anyway. So it's not a huge rush, but we just want to get the inspection done, make sure it meets standards, and get our license. So yeah that's why we want to get the coop done um and plus we also want to get it done before the weather gets crazy hot and we're sweating out here which i'm sure we will be anyway so that's why the poor yard has taken a back seat um i don't know i don't know when this will be finished because it's supposed to rain tomorrow and then next weekend we are away Friday and Saturday and then the girls come on Sunday which I mean that's not a big deal we just have to go in the morning and get them um, after church and then we have all Sunday if it's nice to work out here so we'll see <laughs> The longest game of pinochle ever. What's the score, Mary? 17 in the hole to 41 in the hole. And this is probably about round 15, maybe? 14. Yeah, there you go. It's been a long night. Say hi. Hi, Sam. Hi, Steven. Yo, Monster Steve. What's up, dude? After, what was that? Two more hands. We are both now finally in the positive. <laughs> that was the craziest game of pinochle we have ever played. 25 hands for one game. It was ridiculous. And Mary and I ended up losing, which really irked me. Then we played second game. <laughs> what, what, what did you do? Ha, 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 they lost. Then we played a second game. It was only six rounds. We got double pinochle. Double pinochle. And they lost again. And we lost again. And guess what time it is? It is after one o'clock in the morning. Yeah. Yeah. I know. And like, I feel like I'm buzzing. Like, I hope I can go to sleep. We'll see. But now I have a little bit of a kitchen to clean up. I forgot to show you my dinner because we were talking. Um, I had one hard shell taco and then a taco salad it was 10 points all together for everything um i ended up i told you earlier i was going to use my cabot cheese i didn't i used the new york cooper sharp that i got down at the amish market let me tell you i used the smallest amount but because it is so flavorful i could use a tiny little small amount it was like i probably only used about a tablespoon like I just tiny little sprinkle but it was so strong and so good you did not need a lot because it was so flavorful so I'm happy with that decision um, yeah then dessert Mary made monkey bread or pull aparts or whatever you call them yeah not WW fied at all I had like one and a half like pull apart biscuit parts of it so it is what it is. I did not overeat it. Drank some tea. So I feel really good about how I did tonight. I'm very happy with myself. Very proud of myself. Um, so, yeah. But now it's after 1 a.m. We can sleep in tomorrow. And that's what we will do. 
and it's supposed to rain here tomorrow so I have some inside stuff to do and hopefully if we get a break in the rain we'll be able to work on the coop a little bit so we'll see so I'll see you in a few hours good morning it's late we slept in when we went to bed last night Doug fell right asleep not me I was wired I probably didn't fall asleep until about quarter to two. And if you know me, <laughs> yeah, that's crazy because I go to bed at 10 o'clock. Um, so this morning I slept in, I think I didn't get up till about 7.30. And then just kind of laid in bed and played on my phone a little bit and just hung out and chit chat it and all that fun stuff. So we are finally up and moving. It is not a very nice day. It keeps raining. And when I say raining, I mean raining cats and dogs. It, yeah, like the sky just opens up and then it stops. Andrew's in Virginia at a track meet. So I'm guessing it's really rainy there too. I have to look at the, um, the radar. He's at George Mason University. Um, yeah. So, Adam is not at that track meet. Adam had a track meet on Friday that Andrew was not at. So, hopefully they'll both be competing on Friday when we're down there. We'll see. Um, not sure if we're going to get any coop work done today with this weather. Guess we'll have to wait and see. Um, but we are going to get coffee, tea, and breakfast because we're hungry. I am really happy with how I ate last night. Um, would it have been better if I didn't have dessert at all? <sighs> Absolutely. Is that going to happen in my life? <laughs> Never, because it's life. Um, could I have eaten a ton more of it? Oh yeah. But I was good. I stopped. So I think we, we kind of switched off yesterday's breakfast and today's breakfast. Doug wanted pancakes yesterday and we were supposed to have that today. So I'm going to flip flop and we're going to have eggs today. So I will show you what we decide on. I'm thinking I'm going to make um, a cheese omelet. So I have some of that really good cheese left from last night. So I think I'm going to use that. I'm going to weigh out like probably a quarter ounce, which will be one point and see what that does for me. So I'll show you when it's done. Doug made me a delicious looking ham and cheese omelet for breakfast. I have two points worth of cheese, zero points worth of Canadian bacon, and three eggs. So on green, it will be eight points for the eggs and then four points for the English muffin. On blue and purple, we're looking at two points, plus four points is six points. So for me on blue, it is a six point breakfast. And of course I have my tea. Okay, we've had a break in the rain. So you know what that means, time to build. Hoping to get the rest of the walls up today. I think that's the plan. Um, I'm not sure what else. Do we have any other plans after the walls? Maybe the roof. Oh, I get to climb a ladder. That'll be fun. I'll keep you uh, abreast of what we are doing and what I am eating and all that fun stuff. We did not work out this morning, um, taking a day of rest. I'll get a few little workouts in during the day. And last night it was so late, we didn't do any yoga before bed. And I kind of missed it. I know, me, the girl that hates yoga. It's just been so nice at night. I just feel like so stretched out and everything. So I don't know, we'll see.
Well, it started raining a little hard, so we decided, the cat's gonna get out, sorry. We decided to take a little break um, and see if the rain stops. We're really hoping to get the roof on today, but we shall see. So we have some things to do inside. Um, no rest for the weary. I have to work on the freezer in the basement. There'll be a video coming about that later. Um, it's a sponsored video. I'm sure you can figure it out, but we need to go down and work on that a little bit. And I'm not sure what else Doug has planned for me, but I'm sure there's something. still going strong outside um we got a lot done you'll see the progress shortly we're just trying to finish up the nesting boxes and then calling it a day i think i i don't know i just came in to get dinner started and i gotta tell you at first i was like it's really late we're hungry let's just order out let's just do it let's just order out let's get chinese and then I thought, you know what, Joni? You already thawed the pork chops. Cauliflower is so easy to roast. We were supposed to have green beans, but I forgot we used those. So I was gonna roast some cauliflower. That's easy. Chop it up, put it in the oven. Steam some potatoes. How easy is that? Throw them in the steamer basket, done. I'm like, no, we are not ordering out. We're not. Do I have the points for it? Absolutely. But I'm like, you know what? I can save calories, I can save points, and I can save money because I have all this food here. We'll order out another night when there's something else going on. So I feel good about that decision. I feel good about a lot of decisions I've made this week. I just hope it shows on the scale because if it doesn't, I will be like so bummed. But we'll see. We'll see. So dinner is cooking. My cast iron pan is heating up so I can start the pork chops. The cauliflower is about halfway done and I just need to throw the potatoes in. I think maybe, maybe I'll do them in the Instant Pot. I don't know, we'll see. So I will be back to show you the finished product and give you an update on the coop. Okay, sitting down to dinner for a hot minute until we have to get back out there and finish up for the day. I realized my plate is completely lacking in color. Yeah. That's okay. I have a Dijon pork chop. The pork chop itself is two points. It is two and a third ounces. And then I'm gonna give two points for the sauce. So four points for my pork chop. I have three points worth of potatoes. It's three ounces. So three points on green and blue, zero on purple. And I've got roasted cauliflower for zero on all plans. So that is, and I'm drinking a glass of water. So that is dinner tonight. Okay, dinner is all cleaned up and I just made two servings of two ingredient dough. Not my favorite dough anymore. I really like the busy kitchen dough, but I needed something quick because I need to go outside and help Doug finish up with these nesting boxes so we can call it a night because darkness is starting to set upon us. Um, so I mixed up that real quick because I have a lot of points left over and we're gonna have a little dessert later tonight after we're showered and we sit down to watch the Phillies game, I'm gonna make some apple hand pies. I made the crock pot apples the other day and we were supposed to use them to top our pancakes and I forgot I had them. 
So I'm going to use them for some uh, apple hand pies. So that's my plan later tonight. Okay, as you can see, <laughs> darkness is upon us and we are done for the day. Look how much we got done today. The roof is completely done. The inside walls are done. I don't even know if you can see this, it's so dark outside. And right there is the little door. We still have to put the um, mechanics on the door. And the thing that took the absolute longest, the roof was fast. We had the roof done in no time. This took the longest were the nesting boxes because we did sort of change it a little bit. We made it a little bit bigger than it originally was. So we had to take a few things apart. But how these work is like this. When it comes time to get the eggs, we just flip open the hatches, pull it down, and then this is where the girls will lay their eggs. It's raised up off the floor of the coop, and then there'll be dividers. There'll be three separate nesting boxes. They'll just have little partitions so they have their privacy, kind of like a bathroom stall. And then we just flip it back up and latch it back up so it is predator proof. So that took, I know it doesn't look like much, but boy, did that take a long time. So what we have to do next is finish off the back, but we don't want to do that until we lay the floor. We're going to lay linoleum in there, just cheap linoleum, like stock stuff from Lowe's. It protects the wood because face it, chickens poop and pee a lot and that's where they're going to go. So it protects the wood from the wood getting ruined and it makes easy clean out. This area right here is going to have a door that folds down like the um, nesting boxes and that will be our clean out. And then that's just a wall like that'll just have the T111 there. And we have to put one more piece up there of um, plywood to close in the roof. The other end of the roof is going to have hard cloth, hard wire cloth um, just for more ventilation. So we got a lot done today. I am so proud. I had a good time helping. As you can see from the video, I got to do a whole lot. So there she is, the hen house. We're getting there. As I'm going to attempt to get it edited and upload it. I don't know, you might not see it till tomorrow because I have a lot of editing to do, a lot. So we'll see what gets done. Who knows, maybe it'll go up at midnight. I don't know, we'll see. And I just noticed I have one earring in. My earring fell out in the car yesterday and I forgot to put it back in. I've been one earringed all day. <sighs> That's okay. So thank you for spending the weekend with us and seeing what I ate and what we did and pretty much we worked on the coop. And I forgot to film my dinner last night, but y'all know what tacos look like. They were delicious. So I'm hoping to be back tomorrow with a full day of eating. Not sure. Um, I've got four babies tomorrow, five on Tuesday, four on Wednesday, five on Thursday. Busy week and I'm off on Friday because um, we're going down to see the boys. Hopefully, if all goes well. So... Did I give you an Andrew update? I don't even remember. I thought about it. Um, if I didn't, Andrew tested negative. He was released from quarantine on Saturday at noon and actually was able to travel on Sunday today to Virginia to George Mason to um, throw. So um, he said he did pretty well considering he didn't practice for 10 days because he was in quarantine. So it is what it is. So. Anyway, like I said, thanks for taking some time out of your day to spend it with me. And I've got so many cook with me's that I wanna film. I'm gonna to try to get them done, but we have a crazy week. I have a hair appointment on Wednesday night and we've gotta work on this coop a little bit during the week this week. So I'm gonna to try to get the cook with me's done and try to do it while the kids are sleeping, but that hasn't been working out too well lately, so we'll see. So anyway, have a great weekend, and I will talk to you soon.